Thanks for coming through and watching another video. Uh, my name is Tab Baker, a.k.a. Mr. Showtime, and I hope you're all starting your day with a big smile and staying positive and staying motivated. So guys, today I have, uh, what do you call it, a review video today. Uh, I bought something online and uh, so I want to show you uh, what it is. Uh, it's going to be a very small video, so I'm just going to give you a, uh, an overview of what I bought and what I think. Uh, maybe it's too early to say what I think, but let's see anyway. I'm just going to switch the camera around. So guys, I purchased some rose water of the internet. Um, as you know, it's very hard to find pure rose water. You don't know who to trust, even on Amazon. Um, you don't know what you're going to get. So guys, today I ordered this a couple of, couple of days ago. And I ordered it from something called Petals Valley. And the reason why I've ordered it from Petal Valley is because they appeared on a TV show. Uh, I don't know if you know the Bake Off winner called Nadia. She she actually visited this uh, this this company, and she saw the, and they showed the process of how they make the rose water. It was made in the UK. The process that they involved they kind of uh, attracted me to it in the package. In this closed package, which, which I've opened, uh, you've got you've got all this leaf. You've got all this. You've got the bottle itself. You've got a, a spray mist, and you've got these two. You've got a business card here, uh, and on the back it says, "Thank you for your order. Best regards, Denise." And then you have a little little history about the rose water, about the Welsh rose water. And the different types of rose water they do and then we have what else also and then we also had this little thing here the little recipe ideas and it shows you you can make you know um, a spritz a tonic whatever you are uh, a prosecco uh, you can make sweets desserts and it says not all rose waters are the same guys did you know that and then on the other side of the paper it says rose water as food for the skin this is the reason why i bought it rose water food for the skin i wanted pure rose water so it gives you different um, ways of applying rose water you can mix it with ground almond by adding one teaspoon and that'll kind of help uh, your skin to glow um, and then also spraying it directly onto your face and then adding moisturizer for a better skin and also for uh, it works as an anti-inflammatory that's the reason why I bought it as you guys know I have a lot of um, spots around my nose area here on my cheek and then also on my forehead just between my eyebrows and this is the reason why I bought it because I wanted pure rose water and I've seen these guys on the telly so I'm just going to open this uh, this package right now so this is the first time I'm opening it right in front of you guys well sealed came in this jiffy bag it says on the front of the packet it is grown prepared packed and dispatched from the farm cruelty free and kind to the bee so this is what it looks like then on the other hand it has the batch data when it expires so best before June 2021 but I think I read something that as soon as you open this you have to use it within three months this is a 30 ml bottle and they also did a 100 ml I went for this one because I knew three months is a long time and I don't know how much I want to use of this so let's try this first and then if this kind of works I might go for the bigger bottle and then you have the spray mist which I purchased separately uh, this cost me I think it was just over nine pounds and this was one pound and then you've got to pay your delivery charges so the reason why I bought this is to put into here so it's easier to apply So that's the way it looks like when the vent is opened. Just put that straight in there. Take the lid off. Just gonna spray something just to get it pumping up. Ooh. Oh guys, that smells amazing. Yeah. 
So what I'm going to do now is uh, spray this, probably put it onto a cotton wool and dab it around the area that I need to um, so because it works as an anti-inflammatory and uh, let's see if this is going to work. So I'm going to try this until until it finishes and then I might come back and give you another review. Obviously I can't do any review right now tell you whether it's worked or not because because that's stupid right now anyway because I've not even tried it, I've just opened it. So yes guys, so this is rose water, pure rose water. It's called Apothecary Rose Water. Like I said, you get different types of rose waters and this one that I bought was specifically for, for the skin. And uh, I hope it works. So what I'm going to do is, is spray this directly onto my face. I was going to spray onto cotton on cotton pad but don't know if I'm going to do that because it's going to soak up a lot of it. So, it's, so I'm just going to spray it directly onto, the, onto my whole face so it gets an even, even coverage. And uh, let's see if that's going to work. Guys, if you, if you could uh, hear that. So I've sprayed that onto my face. So I'm trying to get rid of these spots for a very long time and let's see this rose water does the job. So fingers crossed. So this is day one. Okay guys. Just want to say thank you to, to Petal, Petals of the Valley for sending me this. And uh, I just hope it does the job. And the reason why I bought it because it's pure rose water. It's made in the UK. You know, try to support your British businesses. But yeah, thank you. And I will see you on the next video when I give you another review on how it's gone. Maybe it's a bit early days. Maybe I might leave it a week or two. Uh, maybe maybe a week and come back to you and see what effect it's had. So guys.